Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Okay, I got my noisemaker here because we got to make some noise when a new year comes. I hope that everyone is rested. You're going to need some coffee. Uh, if you got in as late as I did, you're going to need a journal, a pen, or you can take notes on your iPad. I'm going to let people pop on. Let's give folks a moment. I'm a few minutes early. This is the first, this is the first of three live master classes I will do today. The second one will be at 3 p.m. Eastern to Central on Instagram. And the third one will be at uh, 7 p.m. live on Facebook Eastern. And so if you are unable to join today's live broadcast, because you're going to be able to ask questions at the end. So uh, make sure you're writing down any questions you have or anything you want to ask me when you are, uh, when we're at the end. Happy New Year. I'm going to let people pop on, so let's just give uh, a moment. I'm a few minutes early. Uh, everybody, tell me what you did last night. How did you bring in the New Year? I'm interested to hear. Please keep it clean. Hey, my friend Elvis, uh, absolutely, Marsha. We're going to thrive in 2018. I'm super excited about this year, and I mean that. Last year was a good year. Last year was a transitional, transformational it was a year where I entered a new decade, and amen, and um, I'm ready now for the harvest. I'm ready for the the beginning of the decade starts for real uh, now. I have a birthday on Friday, so we're looking forward to a party and having a good time. I'm going to take off for uh, the next five days is when I'm done tonight. I'm going to get on a plane and go and leave and get some sunshine, and then I'll be back uh, on the weekend and back on air starting next week. So good afternoon, everybody here in the east to my friends in the central and in the Pacific and mountain times. It's morning. Good morning to you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. San Diego, I'm going to try to get myself there this year uh, and speak at my alma mater. We're working on it. But absolutely, I was in church. I started off the year uh, at First Baptist Church, Glen Arden, uh, close to me here. Happy New Year, London. Watched a little of what you guys did. We're just allowing folks to pop on for this free-to-focus uh, live master class that we're going to do here today. Please, folks, share this. I do this stuff for free. I don't charge for it. A lot of people are charging today. I'm not. I'm blessed, so I like to share my blessings with others. And share this. Please tweet under the hashtag free to focus hashtag be resolved okay so free to focus and be resolved and we're going to get started here uh my name is sophia nelson but you already know that and thank you for following me and thank you for uh sticking with me all last year we're going to start 2018 off right with one of my favorite words my staff hates the word but i love the word focus they hate when i say focus I'm getting t-shirts made, I'm getting coffee cups made, because the word focus is one of the most important words that you will ever, ever, ever encounter and have to engage and have to live out in your life. So I want you to hold on to the word focus. But before we can focus, we got to do some things, right? We all know that we live in a noisy, crazy, distracting, disheveled, disorganized world world. These phones and these devices, I don't think they're good things. In fact, I don't know if you knew it, but planners are making a comeback. Did you know that? Planners, you know, the old school Franklin Covey, where you write down what you're doing, you carry the little thing in your purse or in your little binder. Well, guess what? Planners are making a comeback. Now, for you young people on here that follow me, I know, right? Under 30, you don't have a clue what we're talking about. But if you're 40 and up, you remember, they are making a killing at Staples. I wish I had invented a new one. I think we're going to try to do a woman code one, but that's uh, for another time. But people are starting to realize that email and online and phones are great, but nothing replaces the power of writing it down. You know, the prophet Habakkuk says what? Write the vision down and make it plain. Write the vision down and make it plain. Write the vision down and make it plain. He didn't say text it. He didn't say post it. He didn't say email it. He said write the vision down and make it plain. Today, we're going to talk about how you get free, F-R-E-E, -E, yes, that word, to focus. And this is really important. I thought about, you know, all the things I could do to start the new year off right. And there are a ton of messages that people will be talking today. But here's what I know for sure. If you're carrying stuff, 
if you're lugging stuff, if you're dragging stuff from 2017, 2016, 2015 into your 2018, you're not free. And if you don't get free, you cannot focus. So we're going to really do some work today over these next 25 minutes. So please, I am prepared. I want you to be prepared. Get your coffee, get your water, get your tea, whatever you're sipping today. It's New Year's Day again. Happy New Year. Yeah, I got a noisemaker. I want you to uh, post on Twitter. Share this with all your followers. Share this broadcast on your social media platforms. Again, there will be another one at 3 p.m. live on Instagram and 7 p.m. Eastern live on Facebook. So please share this. Let's go. All right. So again, it's a new year. You're in 2018. But what does that mean, Sophia? You know, Sophia, I had problems last week. I couldn't make the mortgage last month. I don't know how we're going to keep the house. My marriage is in trouble. My kids are acting out. My job may be downsizing. They may be laying people off. My health isn't great. I'm, I'm, I'm depressed. I'm not feeling like I'm where I want to be. All of that stuff is real. All of that stuff is real. And guess what? You're right. It's not going to go away in 10 minutes. It's not going to go away because we wish it away. It's not going to go away even because of anything I tell you. But here's what I know for sure. Here's what I know for sure. If you will embrace mentally, in your heart, spiritually, and otherwise, if you will embrace that this is a new year and that new means new. You know, the prophet Isaiah in chapter 43, verses about 18 through 21 says what? Do not dwell on the former thing. Forget the past. See, I do a new thing. That's God talking. See, I do a new thing. And he says, can you not see it? Can you not perceive it? Can you not grasp it? I want to park there for a moment because before we get into how we focus, because focus is everything in your life. You got to get free of some stuff. You got to get released from some stuff. You got to stop carrying some stuff. A new year is what you decide it's going to be. You know, I wish that I could go back to my 25 year old self. Now look, I've been pretty much the same since I was about seven. Very serious, very focused, love books, love to read, love to write, love to talk. I've been pretty much the same person. So I'm not one of these people that was wayward and wild and, you know, dropped out of school or, or got my life off course. I've been very hyper focused, but in being hyper focused, thank you for sharing the scripture. I have missed some important things that have nothing to do with success or checklist or checking off the right degrees and getting the right education. I've missed some stuff. And that's because I wasn't free. That's because I was carrying stuff. That's because I didn't make peace with my past. That's because I was lugging some things. And I want to talk to you today about two very simple words. Folks, if you listen to this and take notes and do what I suggest you do and use these tools, it's going to radically change your life. It's not hard. You don't need some deep six course you don't need to have uh, weeks of training. You don't need to go walk on hot coals and burn your feet. What you need to do is get back to some biblical principles and get back to some core things that you already know are true, but you've gotten away from them and you got to get free. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is we're starting this course. Remember, use the hashtags free to focus. Use the hashtag be resolved. I don't see you sharing this. Please share this with your followers right now. Share this on your Twitter. Share this on your platforms because you want other people to know what you're about to know. Thank you. Please share, 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 share. One of the things that we have to do, particularly as women, but men do this a little better, share what you know. Share the knowledge, spread it. Don't keep it to yourself. Help other people as you want to be helped, all right? So a little bit about me beyond Google. Don't believe what you read on Google. Go to IamSophiaNelson.com. Go to TheWomanCodeBook.com, my two main platforms. Get on our email list. I'm not going to email you three times a week selling you something. 
I don't believe in it. I'm going to email you one time a month, maybe two, giving you something for free, offering you some inspiration, giving you some tools, and encouraging you to do some things. That's what I'm committed to. Now, a lot of folks will say, Sophia, you're stupid. With your platform, you could be making a whole lot of money. I do well. God blesses me. And 2018 is going to be amazing. But I want to share what I've been taught. I want to pass on what I know now at 50 years of age. I've lived enough life now to be the wise woman in the room, if you will. So please stay with me here. Take some notes and share this. You guys already know my credentials. Why do credentials matter? Because there are a whole lot of people out there today selling a whole lot of stuff. And you can't find them in a bookstore. You can't find them on your TV. You can't find them at a corporate event or a retreat. There are a lot of charlatans out there who don't know the first thing about money teaching you about money. There are a lot of folks out there who've been divorced three times trying to tell you how to be married. There are a lot of folks out there that don't have the first kind of relationship, have never been in a relationship, and they want to tell you how to have one. You don't want folks who are not credentialed teaching you anything. So it matters that I'm an award-winning corporate diversity trainer. It matters that I'm an award-winning journalist that you can watch on MSNBC every week on your TV. It matters that I'm an award-winning author because it says that I'm credentialed. It says I'm credible. So thank you for joining me and please share this with your followers. We're going to get started. This isn't going to be hard. It isn't going to be long. But it's going to help you radically transform your life. All right. The first thing we're going to talk about today is how to get free. Well, what does that mean, Sophia? Get free. Well, it means where I started today. The scripture, Isaiah, one of my favorite books in the Bible. And I'm not waxing religious, but I'm giving you a foundation. If you're a person of faith, you got to put your faith to work. And the prophet writes to the people, Stop dwelling on the past. Stop holding on to what is gone, what's done, who left you, who rejected you, who did you dirty, who did you wrong. Let it go and see the new thing. See the new year. See the new possibilities in your life. Because I promise you, no matter what you're going through or where you are, you have something new ahead of you. But if you don't believe it up here, if you don't see it, if you don't believe it, we've all lost money. Trust me. We paid the wrong people. We gave it to relatives who were never going to give it back. I kind of have a rule about money. If I'm going to give it to you, I'm going to give it to you. I don't want it back. It keeps my peace intact. It's a gift. And I let it go. But folks, listen, if you're going to get focused, you got to get free of some stuff. Distraction is the number one thing that ruins dreams, that ruins destinies, that keeps people from completing tasks, that keeps people from getting their degrees, that keeps marriages from being on fire and passionate and a blessing. It keeps families from loving each other. It keeps you from being engaged in your kid's life, in your aging parent's life. You got to get free of distraction. What are we going to do? I'm going to give you a few principles to help you release. Now look, what does release mean? What does it mean? Let it go. Get rid of it. Put it away. Free yourself of it. Cast it off. You know, one of the things that Jesus says is what? He says, cast your cares on me. Cast, not carry. Stop carrying your burden. Some of you are burdened. I've been there, done that. It's not pretty. You're carrying so much pain. You're carrying so much stress. You're carrying so much anger. You're carrying so much venom. You're carrying so much poison in your body that it's making you sick. You don't even know you've been carrying that grudge. You don't even know you've been carrying that heartbreak. You don't even know you're still grieving the loss of that relationship, that man that walked out, that woman that walked out 10 years ago. They've moved on. They got married again. They got kids and you refuse to date. Been there. It's not a good way to live. So one of the first principles I want you to get on this New Year's Day is I want you to practice casting, 
casting and releasing stuff. Be someone that lets things go quickly. Be the first to apologize. Be the first to forgive. None of this is easy. Keep sharing this, folks, because this is going to help somebody on New Year's Day. Share, post, free to focus, hashtag, be resolved, hashtag. And thank you. There are a lot of you on here today. Listen to me. You have got to make a decision right here and right now on New Year's Day. See my little noisemaker? Right here, right now, you got to decide. To release some stuff. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. I'm not telling you that if you were molested as a child, if you were abused, if you were raped, if there was violence done to you in your life, if someone has been physically violent to you, I'm not trying to tell you that it's going to be easy. It's not. But what I'm asking you to do is to start. To make a start today. Just make a decision. Make your mind up. I'm letting that go. I'm going to write a letter and forgive somebody. I know I have a few letters I'm working on. I know there's somebody who used to be close to me that I need to forgive. And I'm going to reach out to that person today and say, hey, I don't even care what the fight was about. I'm over it. I hope you can get over it. I wish you well. I don't want the person back in my life and I don't want to be back in their life, but I can be woman enough to say it's all good. We've run our course but I'm letting it go. I'm going to forgive it. I'm going to release it and I'm going to put it away. And I'm asking you to do the same. You cannot focus folks on your God given talents, on your gifts, on everything. Absolutely. That you have in you. It's never going to come out of you until you let some stuff go until you get free up here until you get clear up here and you can't get clear and you can't get focused when you're angry about something, when you're heartbroken about something, when you're confused about something, when you've been stressed about something, when you are bewildered about something, you're not going to have the ability to move forward. So I want you to focus on the first part of this masterclass today. Get free. Get free. Get into some counseling. Do you know that every church has free counseling? Do you know that most of your jobs have an insurance that gives you 20 free sessions? Free for what you pay for into your health care. The government offers programs. Your local community, your local community churches, there are shelters. There are places you can go and get free help. Get into a support group if you're recently divorced. The holidays are tough on people. The holidays get you depressed. It's cold. It's darker. There's no light. And people feel dejected and left. And if you don't get some help, if you don't make a choice that you matter, that you're worth it, your life is never going to change. Some of you have had a bad decade. Some of you have had a bad last 20 years. Some of you have had hell breaking out on you and raining down on you since you were a child. When are you going to make the decision that you're not living that way anymore? That you're not going to just survive, that you're going to thrive. Amen. Mental health is very important. Terrace, is that you? Hey, girl. Bottom line is this. Bottom line is this. That at the end of the day, you decide your life. You decide what you're going to do. You decide what you're going to think about. You decide. You decide what it's going to be. So I'm asking you today to make the first decision of the new year. New year. The first decision of the new year should be, I am releasing some stuff. I'm letting it go. I'm not going to be stuck in that argument. Thrive, not just survive. Thank God for Soror Maya Angelou. Some of the best words ever written. She said, surviving is important, but thriving is elegant. Thank you. Amen. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. Bottom line, we're going to let some stuff go. Okay. Are you with me so far? Can I get some hearts? Can I get some love that we're going to remember what the prophet Isaiah said? I want that to be your scripture this year. Isaiah 43, 18 through 21. I don't see you sharing. Share this with your followers. Share this on your platforms. Share it. Share it. Share it. Okay. 
how to focus. We've talked about what to release. And like I said, I can't plan. I took notes. I prepared. Because this isn't just flip. This isn't just something I'm saying. It's something I want to bless somebody with. Because I wish when I was 25 or 35 or 40, somebody sat me down and said, Sophia, you got to let some stuff go, honey. You got to stop caring so much. You can't save everybody. You can't fix everybody. You can't help everybody. You can't heal everybody. But you can take care of you. You can change your mind. You can release some things. You can get clear. Thank you for being here. How to focus. The next part of this life class, this master class. We've got about 10 minutes left. I talked about how to get free. Now I want to talk about how to focus. How to focus. You guys, if you're going to come on a New Year's Day, be a blessing. Don't be a troll. Don't, 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 don't give us drama, okay? We're trying to do some good work here. I'm trying to help you. As you start this new year. Now look. Once you get free of your junk. Once you cast. And not carry. Once you see the new thing. You got to do something with it right. You got to get. Focused. It's okay. You got to get. Focused. How do you focus? Okay no. What is focus? Let's start there. What is focus? Focus is another word for clarity. Focus is another word for. For clarity, it just means being clear. It means it came into focus. It means I can see it better. It means it makes sense to me. It means I got a plan. It means I'm organized. It means I got a strategy. It means I got a purpose. It means I got a pathway. It means I am focused. Let me tell you what I learned in 2017. And this is important. Who you have around you is going to determine a lot about how focused you are and how much you get done. If you've got people around you, go back and look at my pig pen message. Like you got to get pig pen out of your life. And then go and look at one that's very popular, which is you got to throw Jonah off your boat. You got to throw Jonah overboard. Two things that have everything to do. Folks, I need you to share this. Share this with your followers. Share it with your friends because you know it's going to help somebody who's down and depressed and carrying a whole lot and they need some encouragement. So please share this with your followers. Share it with your friends. Share it. Now listen to me. If you're going to get focused, if you're going to get focused, you're going to have to get rid of some stuff, some junk, some mess, some distraction, and you're going to have to get rid of some people. Road check, deck check, road check. Who are you listening to? Who's in your business? Who are you in relationship with? Who are your, who's your posse? Who are you hanging out with? Because if they're not the right people and they're not people that are speaking to you about your future if they're not people that are on board for your prosperity, if they're not people that don't want to join you in building wealth and building love and building good things in your life, then you do not need them. Who are your people in 2018? Who are your cheerleaders? Who are your counselors? Who are the people that you empower to correct you and check you? you got to have people that are truth tellers, not, not in anger. Not where they try to hurt you and break you down, but people who love you and people who say, Self, you're amazing. You're great. But I need you to go on a date in 2018. I'm joking. I've been on a lot of dates in 2017, and you've seen the photos. And uh, there's a wonderful young man in my life who I adore, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But I'm making a point. Some of you know why you haven't had a date in 10 years. Because you haven't left the house in 10 years. I'm speaking from experience. When we get hurt, when we carry crap, when we carry junk, when we're distracted and not focused. You know, as focused as you are on building that business, as focused as you are on getting your degree, as focused as you are on accumulating things, you have to be equally focused on getting loved. You have to be equally focused on investing in people. You have to be equally focused and devote time to relationship, to dating, to courting, to enjoying someone else. That's real. 
I'm talking to you from experience here. I'm talking to you from the seasons of my life and the years I wasted being distracted on the wrong stuff, being focused on the wrong stuff. So listen to me. You focus when you're disciplined. I want to talk about discipline for a moment because focus is more than clarity. Clarity. Focus is discipline. Focus says, I'm not going to the club. Focus says, I'm going to stay and work on that manuscript. You know how I turned out three bestseller, nationally big books in five years, three books in five years. You know what? I missed a lot of stuff. I wasn't out doing what everybody else was doing. I was locked in the library. I was locked in the office. I was doing the research and I was working. I was focused. People ask me, well, how'd you get a book focused? I mean, sorry, how'd you get a book deal? How did you get your book done? I was disciplined. I paid the price. I sacrificed. I wasn't out doing what everybody else was doing. And that's why I got different results. You want results? You're going to have to get rid of some things. You're going to have to move some people back a few rows. You've got to be disciplined. Share this, folks. I need you to share this with your followers. I need you to be tweeting. I need you to be posting. This is New Year's Day. Help somebody else. Help somebody who's depressed. Help somebody who's down. Help somebody who doesn't have a plan. Help somebody you know that needs to hear what I'm teaching this morning. You've got to have a pathway to get the life you want. And by the way, it's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late. Don't let somebody tell you you're too old. You're too this. You're too that. You're not enough of this. Reject that. Rebuke that. That's crap. That's from the enemy. You can still have it all. You can still have love. You can still have a family. You can still have a career. You can still have an education. There is more in you. There's more in you. Than what you know. There's more in you than what they told you. You just got to get focused. And you got to get clear. It's not a God thing. I don't know what you mean that. But God is certainly in every good thing about my life. I'm talking about the foundations. Isaiah 43, 18 is a good word. Whether you believe in God or not. What it simply says is get rid of the past. Stop dwelling on the negative. See the new thing. And be somebody that sees it and pursues it and that loves it and that to be, be a hunter, be a seeker, be a thriver, folks. Focus. Focus has a team. I said a team. Focus has a crew. Focus has a discipline. Focus has a passion. Focus has a clarity. Focus has a direction and focus does not entertain mess, messiness, distraction, drama, pig pen, and Jonah people. It just doesn't. You got some folks you got to let go of. You keep hanging on to people that you got to love from a distance, but they cannot be in your life. And that's real. And I've had to do it and it doesn't feel good and we don't like it. But you can feel the weight lifted when you get rid of some people in your life. And it doesn't mean that they're bad people. It means that they're just not the right people for you. Now, I'm going to bring this home. We got about two, three minutes left. And again, I'll be back on Instagram Live at 3 and Facebook Live at 7. Share this. Make sure you're sharing this with your followers. Tweet. Bless somebody today about getting free so that they can focus. Somebody you know needs to hear this. Let me wrap it up. I love to say that I don't do New Year's resolutions. And there's a reason for that. Because resolutions mean nothing. And most people that made resolutions last night or today will have a long list and they'll never get one or two of them done. And do you know why? Because they don't have a plan. They're not free of some stuff. They haven't done the work. They're not focused. They're not clear. And they're never going to get where they want to go because they refuse to deal with this junk back here. They refuse to get rid of the garbage. They refuse to stop carrying and cast. Don't be like that. Be resolved. Be resolved. What do I mean by being resolved? I mean make a decision. Be firm. Be immovable, be fierce, be focused, be ready. Show up ready every day for the unexpected possibilities of 
the right person, the love of your life, the new career path, the new opportunity, the new best friend that you never knew you needed. Show up ready. Be focused. Make a decision. Y'all, some of y'all got to make a decision. And you have been wavering. You've been a fence sitter. You've been wagging your finger. You've been praying on it. I'm waiting on the Lord. You better stop waiting on the Lord. And you better get up and do something. The Lord meets us at the point of our faith. The Lord meets us when we do the work. The Lord meets us when we show up ready. And when we make a decision, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to be light in this world. I'm going to be salt in this world. I'm going to walk the talk. When you do that, he will meet you and he will bless you. But I tell you what, some of y'all been praying and you waiting for the man to show up at your door and it's not going to happen. You know, you need to lose 30 pounds, 50 pounds, but you won't go to a gym, but you praying about it. That's not going to help you. You got to do something. You got to make a decision and you got to get free so that you can get focused. In 2018, I got a couple words. I'm going to thrive. No more surviving. No more treading water. No more working like a dog and not taking vacations and running around like I like to do and, and being free and, and experiencing some of God's amazing blessings. I'm over that. I'm going to thrive. I'm going to do some stuff. And I'm going to be focused. Ain't no mess, no pig pens, and no Jonas in my row. I will cut you. I will put you out. I will pray for you. I will wish you well, but you're gone. No gossip, no drama. Cut those people off immediately. I don't even entertain that because I don't have time. I'm a woman about her business. I'm a woman making a difference in this world. I'm a woman that God has given a national and global platform. And I have a responsibility. I do. To do the right thing with it, to be mature, to be responsible, to not be engaged in foolishness and arguments and petty female dramas and squabbles. I don't have time for that. And neither do you. You don't have time for that. You got to get focused. Now, look, I'm going to stop and I want you to do a couple things. One, go to IamSophiaNelson.com or to the WomanCodeBook.com. If you want some courses that we have that you can download right now, go to Now to Next Woman or go to Church Girls Redefine if faith is what you need a push in. It's all there. I want you to join Club Woman Code. That is going to be a year-long monthly subscription. It's on a 40% discount. And guess what? Every month you're going to get a free webinar, you're going to get a free ebook, and you're going to get some inspiration. I'm all about this. Because I've been blessed. Women bless me. They mentored me. Thank you so much. Read it together. And I've been blessed. So I need to pass it on. If we pay for a course and never listen to it, can we still? If we need to resend you something, let me know. Just email us at the emails on IamSophiaNelson.com or on the WomanCodeBook.com. Before I close, let me say this. First of all, Happy New Year. And I really pray blessings. Secondly, thank you for joining me this afternoon and I'll be back again at three and at seven on Facebook at seven and Instagram at three. But what I really want to say to you is that now is the time what the world needs now is saviors. And I use that word in a respectful way, not Jesus savior, but what the world needs now is people who've come alive. The world needs people like you. Our country has been in turmoil in the last year. If you haven't read Pluribus one book yet, Read it. It comes out in paperback later next spring, this spring rather, but please read it. You need to know how to be an engaged citizen. You need how to be an informed citizen. You need to run for office. People every day are changing lives because they decided to run. They decided to do something. They decided to be a game changer, a doer. It's time for you to thrive. It's time for you to do. It's time for you to win. Stop losing. Make a decision in your life for once. Decide that it's about you. Decide that you're going to do something different. Decide that you are ready to thrive. You guys, God bless you and keep you. Please go to IamSophiaNelson.com. Go to TheWomanCodeBook.com. Sign up for the email list. Sign up. Register for the courses. Register for Club Woman Code if you're a woman. It's going to bless you. It's going to change you. It's going to help you live a better life. Right now, by listening to me, you have 
made a decision that you want to do something different, that you want more, that you're tired of surviving, unlock the code is the course that's for the new year, and then it's Club Woman Code, which is a year long of inspirations, ebooks, webinars. Go on the website, it'll explain it far better than me. But thank you. I'll be on Instagram live at 3 p.m. Share this, tell somebody. Thank you for being here, and thank you, and Happy New Year! Happy New Year, everybody! Thank you. Let's see if I can turn this off. Bye now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. My apologies. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot. Any questions? Does anybody have any questions on this class? I wanted to give you a few moments to interact with me. Um, ask me anything you want to know about getting free to focus. And yes, I love the word flow. Anybody, any questions that I can answer? I'll take a couple minutes. I'm already five minutes over, but that's okay. Anybody, questions? Questions, comments, thoughts before I log off? This is your opportunity to... Engage me live right here. I'm right here to talk to you. Anything you want to know about how to get free or how to get focused? Anything? All right. Looks like you guys have no questions. So thank you. That means I did a good job. What is your method for determining your goals for the year? Okay. Well, one of the things that I talked about early on, um, I'm old school. I use a journal, but I also make lists every day. I mentioned that planners were coming back, and that shocked me because planners went out a decade or so ago, but we used to carry them in the 80s and the 90s, and they worked. They organized your life. There were tabs. You knew what to do. One of the best ways to get focused is to have something written down. Write the vision down and make it plain. That's biblical. That's not me. So... What I do is I'm a big writer, as you know, and I write things down and I check them off. What do you do with anger with family? That's a great question. One of the biggest distractors in our lives is family. Family is a distraction because we love family. And family can be hurtful. Family can be uh, hurtful and dangerous and all those things. But you have to... Do your best to not let their drama become your distraction. Uh, I saw someone say, how do I stop my thoughts? If you're having negative thoughts, you have to change your mind, literally. And that means you also have to put something in your mind that's positive. You have to read a devotional every morning. You got to pray every morning. You got to have something positive on your mirror. That's how you put new thoughts in your mind. Someone asked, how do you let it go? Like I said, letting go is not easy, but you make a decision that you're just not going to carry. You're going to cast. You're going to pray. You're going to have good people around you. Get some counseling. Read some books. Joyce Myers, The Battlefield for the Mind is one of the best books ever written in the history of the world. And um, you know what? That would be great to be pregnant, actually, but I'm not. At any rate, at the end of the day... Um, Someone asked, how do you get with people and connect with people who are where you want to go? That is a great question. That is getting back to your road check. It's getting back to who's in your circle. And it's getting back to you making a decision that you're not going to hang with chickens, but you want to fly with eagles. Birds of a feather flock together. That was one of my grandmother's most favorite things to say. And it was true then and is true now. You have to make a decision that you're going to connect yourself. You want to be a lawyer? Go intern in a law firm. Go down to the courthouse and see can you just hang out and watch the lawyers and the judges. You want to be a doctor? Go to the hospital and volunteer. Be a candy striper. Be, be a helper. You want to be a politician? Hang out at your local state house. Go in and hang out with your local assemblyman or congressman. Go and model, be an intern. It's not hard, but you got to connect yourself. And the biggest takeaway, and then I'm going to go, good question, is I want you to write this stuff down, and I want you to have a plan, and I want you to get free so that you can focus. You said, how do you 
keep the feeling you have on New Year's Day all the way through spring? That's a great question. And again, it gets back to discipline. It gets back to having a plan. It gets back to being with positive people, exercising. You know that smiling gives you endorphins that are positive. You know that exercising and, and, and doing some minimal things every day stimulate your brain positively. They stimulate your heart positively. Love is one of the best things we got going. Love of your kids, love of your family, love of a... I'm going to get a dog this year. I've decided I'm going to get a puppy. It's been about nine years since my dog died, almost ten. And I should have got one a long time ago, but I'm one of those people I carry stuff. And I, I was so hurt when he died, and I didn't want to get another one because I didn't want to be hurt again. But guess what? Loving something means you're going to get hurt. And you just got to get over it, and you got to be okay with it. So, again... Um, you stay focused and you stay, uh, yes, I am. Thank you, a fellow Aztec. And you stay that way because you, you go and do what you need to do every day to encourage yourself. You'll heal, sis. We all do. Just be focused. I miss my dog too, but I'm going to get a new one. And I'm going to name him Dash. I'm going to get a little boy Cavalier Spaniel, a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. And when I get him... I promise to introduce him to you. We're, we're, we're working on that now. I want to work with a breeder. Uh, make sure if you get a pet this year for your kids or whatever, that they're going to take care of it. Dogs are a big responsibility. They're expensive, particularly when you get them as babies. You got to spend time with them. You got to walk them. You got to love them. They're just like people. They got to be bathed, cleaned, fed, go to the doctor. It's great training if you want to be a parent, by the way. Great training for a relationship because it teaches you not to be selfish. It ain't all about you. All right, guys. I've been on way too long, 11 minutes over our time. But thank you for joining me this afternoon. Again, I'll be on Instagram at 3 p.m. And that course will be a little bit different than this one. And then I'll be on Facebook Live on the Sophia A. Nelson Esquire public page tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central. God bless you and keep you. Thank you, guys. Share it. Tweet it. Post. Free to focus. Be resolved. Make a decision. Go on IamSophiaNelson.com. Go on TheWomanCodeBook.com. Yes, everything's in Eastern, 3 p.m. Eastern Instagram, 7 p.m. Eastern Facebook. Bye now.